Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the universe's biggest mysteries, intelligent life beyond Earth. Recent studies suggest that only 4 in 10,000 galaxies might host intelligent aliens. Stick around as we explore the implications of this fascinating finding and what it means for our understanding of life in the cosmos. Communicating with alien life across the vastness of interstellar space might hinge on whether these extraterrestrial beings originate from planets with active plate tectonics, not to mention a balanced mix of water and land. Researchers Robert Stern from the University of Texas at Dallas and Teres Geria from ETH Zurich, Switzerland, argue that plate tectonics are critical for the emergence of complex life. They point to Earth's own history, where the Cambrian explosion around 539 million years ago marked the rapid expansion of multicellular life forms. The initiation of modern plate tectonics significantly sped up the evolution of complex organisms, playing a key role in sparking the Cambrian explosion, they explain. Plate tectonics is the dynamic dance of Earth's continental plates, floating atop a molten mantle. As these plates glide and collide, they create a world of geological drama subduction zones, forge mountains, rift valleys, stretch open, volcanoes erupt, and earthquakes shake the ground. Researchers Stern and Garia note that the form of plate tectonics we see today didn't start until between one billion and half a billion years ago during the Neoproterozoic era. Before this period, Earth's crust, or lithosphere, was a single unbroken shell, a stagnant lid that didn't shift or split. The shift to the active plate tectonics we know today only occurred when the lithosphere cooled and thickened enough to break apart and subduct, diving under itself and recycling back to the surface at divergent boundaries. This tumultuous restructuring of Earth's surface created severe environmental pressures that likely spurred the evolution of complex life over half a billion years ago. Life had to rapidly adapt or perish, leading to intense evolutionary pressures that sculpted the diverse forms of life in the oceans and on continents. This relentless process of natural selection, driven by plate tectonics, set the stage for the eventual emergence of complex organisms, including humans. According to Garia, the intricate dance between oceans and dry land is indispensable for nurturing intelligent life and the rise of technological civilizations. Simply having continents and oceans isn't enough, as the evolution of life is inherently sluggish. Plate tectonics acts as a catalyst, speeding up this evolutionary process, Giria explains. However, there's a catch. Earth is unique in our solar system for its active plate tectonics. Moreover, models suggest that this geological feature might be a rarity in the cosmos, particularly among super-Earth's exoplanets that typically display a stagnant lid configuration, where the crust remains unbroken and immobile. Earth's delicate balance of oceans and continents places it in a unique Goldilocks zone of planetary conditions, neither submerged under oceans miles deep nor barren like a desert world. This perfect equilibrium is rare, according to planetary formation models, which often predict worlds that are either entirely oceanic or completely dry. The presence of oceans is vital, believed to be the cradle of life on Earth, originating in the sea. Continents, on the other hand, are essential not just for supplying nutrients through weathering and driving the carbon cycle, but also for providing the stage for combustion processes. This interaction with oxygen is a crucial step toward the development of technology by intelligent life. The scarcity of planets that combine the dynamic geology of plate tectonics with the ideal mix of water and land might explain why technologically advanced, communicative alien civilizations are so rare. To delve deeper into the possibilities of extraterrestrial civilizations, Garia and Stern turn to the Drake Equation. Created in 1961 by Frank Drake, a trailblazer in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI This Equation was crafted to set the agenda for the inaugural SETI conference at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia. Its purpose was to encapsulate the various factors that might influence the rise of technological civilizations. 
and to estimate the potential number of such civilizations in the cosmos. It's important to understand that the Drake Equation is not so much a precise calculator as it is a tool to frame our understanding of the factors that contribute to the evolution of technological life. Garia noted that previous estimates for the lower limit of civilizations in our galaxy were rather high. One critical component of the Drake Equation is phi, which represents the fraction of exoplanets that might develop intelligent life. The definition of intelligence in this context remains a topic of debate, but today it is often thought to encompass all intelligent animals, such as chimps and dolphins. Garia and Stern propose that phi should be calculated as a product of two additional factors, phoc, the fraction of planets with both continents and oceans, and EP, the fraction of planets with enduring plate tectonics. Despite the critical role of plate tectonics, oceans, and continents in fostering life, Stern and Guria suggest that such planetary features are exceedingly rare. They estimate that only 17% of exoplanets feature plate tectonics, and that a mere zero. 2% to 1% have the perfect balance of water and land. When these probabilities are combined, the fraction of planets likely hosting intelligent life, phi, falls between a minuscule 0.3% and 0.2%. Applying these figures to the Drake equation, Stern and Garia calculate that the number of extraterrestrial civilizations could range from as few as 0.4 to as many as 20,000 across the cosmos. This range is broad due to the uncertainty surrounding other factors in the Drake equation such as the longevity of civilizations and the likelihood of life developing at all. Yet, these estimates are dramatically lower than the million civilizations predicted by Drake in the 1960s. Taras Garia clarifies, a value of 0.4 means there might be just four civilizations for every 10,000 galaxies. There are notable uncertainties in these calculations. For example, we don't know how often life begins, or how frequently intelligent life develops technology. If, hypothetically, civilizations tend to last for billions of years, then it's more likely that more are still around today. Additionally, while terrestrial features like plate tectonics, oceans, and continents are generally necessary for life as we understand it, it's conceivable that unique, ocean-dwelling technological civilizations could evolve without ever setting foot on land representing exceptional deviations from the norm. There's a cautionary note about declaring that extraterrestrials have yet to contact us. SET, I astronomer Jill Tarter, often compares the galaxy to an ocean in which we've only explored the equivalent of a single cup. Despite recent advances with projects like Breakthrough, Listen, which have intensified the search, we are far from having examined every celestial corner. Many stars remain unexplored, and for those we've studied, our monitoring has been brief. It's entirely possible that we've overlooked an alien signal. An intriguing concept to consider in this cosmic puzzle is the Great Filter, a theory introduced by economist and futurist Robin Hansen. This hypothesis suggests there might be a universal bottleneck challenging the emergence of technological civilizations. In the model proposed by Stern and Garia, such a bottleneck could be the rarity of plate tectonics, oceans, and continents. Despite their findings pointing to a low number of potential civilizations, the possibility is not zero. This leads to considerations of the Copernican Principle, which posits that Earth is not unique, merely one of countless planets circling innumerable stars. If life emerged here, why not elsewhere? The critical question then shifts to identifying at what stage the Great Filter might intervene, potentially halting the advancement of civilizations before they can reach out to us. It might be premature for Stern and Gurya to claim that planets equipped with plate tectonics and the ideal mix of water and land are scarce when we lack the observational evidence to back up such assertions. Gurya acknowledges the dilemma. Ideally, we'd have observational data to confirm how prevalent continents, oceans, and plate tectonics are on exoplanets. Sadly, that capability is beyond what we can currently observe. However, our understanding of planetary formation 
allows us to make educated guesses through models, which do offer insights into what we might expect on rocky exoplanets. If Stern and Gurria's hypotheses hold true, humanity might find itself in a profound isolation within the universe. Gurria stresses the gravity of our position. If we are indeed a rarity, then we carry the enormous responsibility of safeguarding our civilization. This takes on a weighty significance, as failing to do so could potentially extinguish the sole example of technological life in our galaxy. Why such specific odds? Scientists use factors like the likelihood of habitable planets, the development of life, and the evolution of intelligence to estimate the presence of advanced civilizations. We'll break down these factors and discuss how researchers reach such a startlingly low number. With billions of stars in our galaxy alone, why haven't we found clear evidence of extraterrestrials? This question, known as the Fermi Paradox, challenges the expectation of a bustling universe teeming with life. We'll delve into the current theories that attempt to solve this paradox. If intelligent life exists, how might we detect it? Beyond radio signals, we also search for technological signatures, signs of advanced technology that could alter a planet or its surroundings. Let's explore what scientists are looking for and the challenges they face. Numerous missions like the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope aim to uncover potentially habitable exoplanets. We'll discuss how these missions contribute to our search and what they hope to find. What does the rarity of intelligent life imply for humanity? From philosophical reflections on our place in the universe to practical considerations for future space exploration, the implications are profound and far-reaching. The Drake Equation is a famous formula used to estimate the number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in our galaxy. But with new discoveries and refined data, scientists are revisiting this equation. In this segment, we'll explore how updated variables are reshaping our expectations and what this means for the search for intelligent life. One of the more sobering ideas in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is the Great Filter Theory. This theory suggests that civilizations may inevitably face a barrier biological, technological, or otherwise that prevents them from advancing. We'll discuss the implications of this theory and whether humanity has already passed through or is yet to encounter its own great filter. While technological signatures are one avenue, biosignatures indicators of life such as specific atmospheric gases offer another path. In this segment, we'll discuss how scientists are using tools like spectrometry to search for signs of life on distant planets and what specific indicators they are looking for. The rare Earth hypothesis posits that Earth's ability to host life is extraordinarily unique, making intelligent life even more rare in the universe. We'll break down the factors that contribute to this hypothesis and discuss its implications for the likelihood of finding intelligent aliens. Extremophiles are organisms that thrive in conditions that would be lethal to most known life forms. By studying these incredible creatures on Earth, scientists gain insights into the potential for life to exist in extreme environments elsewhere in the universe. We'll explore some of the most remarkable extremophiles and what they teach us about the possibilities for alien life. When searching for intelligent life, timing is everything. Civilizations could rise and fall within a fraction of cosmic time, making it difficult for us to detect them. This segment will explore the challenges of temporal alignment and why our search might be missing civilizations that existed millions of years ago or ones that are yet to come. The Dark Forest Theory, inspired by a science fiction novel, suggests that advanced civilizations might intentionally hide to avoid detection. This segment will delve into the reasoning behind this theory and its implications for our own efforts to broadcast our presence to the universe. What should humanity do if we discover intelligent life? The ethical considerations of such a momentous discovery are vast. This segment will discuss the potential consequences of contact, including the risks and responsibilities involved in making our presence known to other civilizations. Artificial intelligence, AI is becoming an increasingly powerful tool in the search for extraterrestrial life. From analyzing vast amounts of data 
to identifying subtle signals that might be missed by humans. AI is revolutionizing our approach. We'll discuss current AI-driven projects and what the future might hold. The Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's technological advancement based on its energy consumption. We'll explore the different types of civilizations on this scale from planetary to galactic and discuss where humanity currently stands and what it might take to reach the next level. From movies to literature, pop culture has shaped our ideas about what intelligent aliens might look like and how they might behave. In this segment, we'll examine how these portrayals influence both public perception and scientific approaches to the search for extraterrestrial life. Quantum mechanics, with its strange and counterintuitive principles, offers new ways of thinking about the universe and possibly about intelligent life. We'll explore how quantum theory is applied in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and what it could reveal about the nature of life and consciousness. While the focus often falls on distant exoplanets, our own solar system holds potential for discovering life. Moons like Europa and Enceladus, with their subsurface oceans, are prime candidates. This segment will explore ongoing missions and future plans to search for life closer to home. If we do detect intelligent life, how will we communicate? The vast distances between stars present enormous challenges for communication. We'll discuss current ideas, including the use of lasers and other technologies to bridge these cosmic gaps. What if intelligent civilizations are already in contact with each other, forming a galactic community? We'll explore this idea and discuss what it might take for humanity to join such a community or why we might be excluded. While life on Earth is carbon-based, there's no rule that says life elsewhere must follow the same chemistry. This segment will explore the possibilities of alternative biochemistries, such as silicon-based life, and how scientists are expanding their search to include these possibilities. Dark matter and dark energy make up the vast majority of the universe, yet we know very little about them. We'll discuss how understanding these mysterious forces could impact the search for intelligent life and what role they might play in the development of civilizations. Cosmic events like supernovae, gamma ray bursts, and asteroid impacts have the potential to wipe out entire civilizations. We'll explore how these events shape the likelihood of intelligent life surviving in the universe and what precautions humanity might need to consider. While traditional searches have focused on radio waves, scientists are expanding their hunt to include other potential technosignatures, such as megastructures or unusual energy emissions. This segment will cover the latest developments in this broader search. The search for extraterrestrial life is a global effort that benefits from collaboration across nations. We'll discuss the importance of sharing data, resources, and expertise in the pursuit of one of humanity's greatest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Citizen science projects like SATI at Home have allowed the public to participate in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. We'll explore how these initiatives are engaging people worldwide and what impact they've had on the search. As space agencies and private companies push the boundaries of exploration, what role will the search for intelligent life play in future missions? We'll look ahead to upcoming projects and how they might bring us closer to answering the age-old question of whether we're alone in the universe. The discovery of intelligent extraterrestrial life would have profound philosophical implications. This segment will explore how such a discovery might challenge our understanding of existence, consciousness, and the place of humanity in the universe. Could our universe be a simulation created by a more advanced civilization? This intriguing hypothesis has gained attention in recent years. We'll explore the arguments for and against this idea and its implications for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Space weather, such as solar flares and cosmic radiation, can have significant effects on a planet's ability to support life and the development of civilizations. This segment will explore how space weather might influence the evolution of intelligent life and the challenges it could pose to advanced civilizations. While most searches focus on our own galaxy, the Milky Way, the universe is vast, with countless other galaxies potentially harboring life. 
we'll discuss the challenges and potential methods for searching for intelligent life in distant galaxies and what discoveries might await us far beyond our cosmic neighborhood. Not all stars are created equal when it comes to supporting life. The type of star a planet orbits can greatly influence the likelihood of life developing. We'll explore how different star types, such as red dwarfs or massive blue stars, affect the habitability of surrounding planets and the potential for intelligent civilizations. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blesovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.